Hey guys, Knife Detector here. So, like I tell you guys, every knife has a little story with it, and this one has a little story that goes with it. Bought this at a flea market for $1. Sometimes when I go to flea markets, I like to look at uh, buckets, containers, uh, full of tools, or all kinds of things that that the seller might just have thrown in there. In fact, if there's something that just looks like it's just a pile of stuff, that's usually what attracts me, and I go searching in there. And in that pile of tools and old nails and rusty screws was this guy. And there's nothing special about this knife, but if you're a knife collector like I am, and you look for knives every chance you get, then you know that every once in a while, you have to salvage one from from the brink of death or you have to salvage one from getting thrown away or tossed and so this was in a bucket and I just saw the red sticking up like this only it was not in this condition it was very dirty it was dingy it was black and I picked it up and I couldn't open any of the blades and what this is is this is just your run-of-the-mill regular uh, Swiss Army Victorinox Spartan and the thing that I noticed about this Spartan that's different from others is that it has a slightly darker color than other knives. For example, here's a Tinker and here's this one. The color is just ever so subtle, the color difference. So I know that this knife right here is not may not be what you would call vintage, but it may be slightly older. And uh, it's just not as bright as the other Victorinox knives that I have come across. And uh, that's kind of what drew me to it. It's a little bit more unique. I uh, couldn't open any of the blades when I first got it. And of course now, mid-stop, full. They totally open just like they should. Of course, you can tell from looking at the liners that this knife uh, has had some use. They're a little bit beat up, as you can see. And I talked to the gentleman that owned the flea market site there, and or the, the vendor that was selling in that particular slot. And I asked him, how much do you want for this? And then he gave me kind of a, kind of a, an angry expression. Not angry towards me, angry towards a knife. And he said, give me a dollar for it. Like, and I'm like, okay, that sounds good to me. So as you can see, after cleaning these uh, rusty blades off and giving it a good scrubbing, this was really scratched up. It still is, but... Went over this with some 2000 grit, polished it up a little bit, and it cleaned right up. So if you're like me, you may one day uh, come across something like this. And then you're going to be faced with a decision. Do I rescue this knife from the brink of disaster, from being thrown away? Because to me, it really seemed like uh, the vendor was about to toss this guy. This is a perfectly usable knife, right? And sometimes you'll come across a blade that you can repair and do a little something to. This badge is so worn that it's been completely worn off. But as you can see, the blades are not really, really that used. It does have some use. So somebody carried this. Somebody loved this. And I maybe will never know why that vendor wanted to get rid of this for a dollar. And if I see him again, I might ask him, but I didn't think to do it at the time. But he was just in such a hurry to get rid of this that honestly uh, makes me feel like maybe he cut himself with it or somebody he loves maybe cut themselves with it. He just wanted to get rid of it. But like I said, when I got this, I couldn't open any of the blades. So this is a little of opportunity for you guys. Uh, it's out there. There are knives like this out there that people just... Uh, want to get rid of and this is a good usable 
tool, right? And if you love knives like I do, and if you love this this hobby, dare I say habit, then then you're going to find these. These guys will come to you. And you're going to find yourself in situations when you can snap this up. It's the law of attraction, guys. The law of attraction. Another thing I wanted to mention is I got so many videos backed up that I want to do on so many different knives. I got some very cool knife videos coming up. Uh, vintage knives, some turn-of-the-century knives, a uh, few modern knives. Um, as you can see, this isn't that vintage because it doesn't have the split corkscrew. Uh, but you do have the toothpick. Remember what I tell you about these guys. When you get these, you want to clean them, you want to sanitize them because you don't know where these knives have been or what they've gone through. So you want to clean them as best as you can. All right, guys. Thought I'd share that little story with you. That guy was kind of angry at this knife. Not at me, uh, but it seems like he wanted to get rid of it pretty quick. And this is a knife detector saying there's opportunities out there to be found. Um, I got a couple more Swiss Army knife videos coming up. Uh, man, I just kept, keep running into knives everywhere I turn. So until then, guys, I want to say to all my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. God bless and stay sharp, my friends.